Greetings to all the saints of God and those who keep his commandments and wait on the glorious appearing of Jesus Christ who will come in the clouds of heaven and every eye shall see him. We are living in one of the greatest times in earth's history for the things of the Bible have come to pass and are coming to pass. The prophecies have been fulfilled and are being fulfilled. The truest book I've ever known has been the Bible. There are threats in the Bible against those who keep God's commandments. And maybe I shouldn't say threats. Maybe I should say warnings. God warns us if we follow him and do his will that Satan will move to attack us. He will seek to destroy us for we have the greatest example in Jesus Christ himself and most of the disciples were martyred. But what we have today is so much deception going on that the Christian has been deceived into believing that he cannot keep the commandments of God, even with the power of Christ, that he cannot follow and be obedient to God, even with the power of Christ. This is one of the greatest deceptions that Satan has ever come up with. It is to really say that the power and spirit of God is of no avail because you cannot keep his commandments. Well, let me say this, in and of ourselves, no, we cannot keep his commandments for the flesh is corrupted and degraded by over 6,000 years of sin. But Jesus Christ came and he said, I go away, but I will not leave you comfortless. I will send you a comforter. And in the end of that chapter, he says, I will come to you. So Christ will come to us by his Holy Spirit and comfort us and teach us all things and lead us in all the ways of righteousness. Do you think that Jesus Christ would sin inside of you? I don't think so. But if Christ comes inside of you and you allow him to lead the way in every single thing given it to Christ, you will walk this earth without sin because Jesus Christ does not sin and he will not sin living in you. But moving on from that, we are threatened on every side for the laws are being set against us, not only in America, but all around the world against those who follow freedom of conscience. We are coming up on a time, probably within a few years, of where the Christian will not be able to buy or sell. And eventually they will send out the decree to destroy all those who do not keep the law of man and who try to keep the law of God. For Satan and his agents, which are men and demons, believe that they have us and that they will destroy us and conquer us. But there is a certain psalm that tells me differently. Psalm number two. And I may read it somewhat paraphrase in some sections, but the point is, is this. And I'm going to say the psalm. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder, cast away their cords from us. But he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. For I have heard the decree. For the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. 
And in his psalm, he gives a warning to the rulers of the earth. He says, be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, the S-O-N, that's Jesus. Lest he be angry and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. The devil will not win this battle for Christ has already won it and it's written in the scriptures. The heathen and the leaders and evil rulers of this world will be destroyed by Christ himself. Amen.